Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find the range, mean, median, and mode in statistics. Now, these are pretty straightforward definitions, and so I recommend going over these as much as you can to kind of help you calculate these, because these are going to be very important uh, components in the basics of statistics. So, let's get right to it. The range, by definition, is the highest value minus the lowest value. It's a pretty straightforward calculation, and so it should take you very little time. Now, the mean is just another way of saying finding the average of the values. So what you're really doing is you want to add all the figures that you have and then divide by how many total numbers that you have to work with. So basically, you add all the data points and divide by the total number of data points. Now the median is the value in the middle, if you will. Now there's actually a, a couple of criteria that you want to consider when it comes to finding the median. It's actually the, the most complicated out of the bunch, if you can believe that. Because the median is the number in the middle, but what you have to do is you have to put the values in order from lowest to highest. Now, after that, if you have an odd number of figures, the median is actually going to be just the number in the middle. But if you have an even number of figures, what you want to do is you want to take the middle two figures and then find the average of those two, and that'll be the median. I know, the median is like the, it's actually the most complicated value. Go figure. But once you get past the medium hump, you want to find the mode. And the mode is actually the most easy, one of the more easy ones to find, because the mode is actually the value that occurs the most. So you want to find the number that you see the most number of times, and that'll give you the mode. Now there's going to be a tie between two or more figures. It can be called bimodal or trimodal, so it depends on what kind of data that you have to work with. But basically, just look for the number that occurs the most, and you'll be good to go. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to find the range, mean, median, and mode in statistics.